According to an online survey completed by 563 undergraduate students from a New England public university, before the age of 18, 93% of boys and 62% of girls have seen pornography online. The survey showed that boys were exposed to pornography at an earlier age than girls. Boys were also more likely to see images depicting rape and child pornography. You can understand why people are concerned what this type of exposure to pornography is doing to the minds of boys. Is this type of exposure turning boys into sex criminals? There's not a lot of evidence that this is the case. That's not to say the effect isn't there in a more subtle way. In 1982, Zillman and Bryant conducted an experiment where they recruited 160 male and female university undergraduate students to their lab. The participants were randomly assigned to one of four groups. One group of participants were instructed to do nothing. For the other three groups, participants were instructed to watch either large, intermediate or nil amounts of pornography. These participants met once a week for six weeks and watched the films as a group. Each film played for approximately eight minutes. For those who were in the large exposure group, the participants watched six films that consisted of sexual content per week. For those in the intermediate exposure group, the participants watched three films consisting of sexual content and three others that were educational and entertaining materials that did not consist of any sexual content. For those who were in the no exposure group, the participants watched six educational and entertaining films that didn't consist of any sexual content. Afterwards, all the participants, including the group who didn't do anything, returned to the lab. They were instructed to read a newspaper article reporting a rape case about a female hitchhiker and then recommend a prison term for this offence. Here on the y-axis we have the recommended prison term for the offence in months. On the x-axis, we have the different amount of exposure to sexual films. Those who did nothing, those who were in the no exposure group, the intermediate exposure group, and the large exposure group. The blue refers to the male participants, and the green refers to the female participants. Zillman and Bryant found that for those who did nothing during the experiment, the male participants recommended on average 94 months of incarceration for the offence and the female participants recommended approximately 120 months. For those who watched films that didn't consist of any sexual content, the male participants recommended on average 95 months of incarceration for the offence, and the female participants recommended 144 months. For those who watched films that consisted of an intermediate level of sexual content, the male participants recommended on average 78 months of incarceration for the offence, and the female participants recommended 101 months. And for those who were in the large exposure group, the male participants recommended on average only 50 months of incarceration for the offence, and the female participants recommended around 77 months. These findings suggest that the continued exposure to pornography seems to influence people to believe that the rapist is not fully responsible for his actions and possibly become more accepting of rape. However, there's not a lot of experimental studies showing the link between watching pornography and behaving aggressively, as the effect is subtle and not always obvious.